Under the bright lights, the ring feels like the whole world. Every punch, every... In this video, I'll show you how to create B-roll shots for 3D documentary video, just like the one you just watched. If you've been on YouTube, you must have seen this video around and we'll learn how to do that today. So the first thing you have to do is to head over to ChatGPT, then you head over to GPTs, and then you search documentary style 3D image generator, and then you can see it from here, you select. And then all you just need to do is to scroll down and then you click on start chat. So when you get to this point, there are two things you can do. You can actually upload your image or you can describe what you want ChatGPT to create for you. So for me, I'm going to first of all start by uploading my image. I'm going to show you also how to create using a description. But first of all, we're going to start by dropping my image. So this is the image I want to use. This is from the movie Creed. So it's just a boxer. Then I'm just going to send this over. So as you can see, ChatGPT has, has written different prompts for us based on the image. You can see there are different scenes. So all you just need to do is to scroll down. You can see it says, which prompts would you like me to generate as an image? say scene bureaus so all you just need to do is to reach through and then you select one so for me i'm just going to say um scene one one so you can see it also pops an option do you want me to generate this image now or use open art so we can actually do it here on touch gpt or we can use open art so we're just going to first of all start by doing it here on touch gpt so say generate image so you can see ChatGPT is also asking us which aspect ratio do we want. If you want to do for TikTok, you can, you know, just select TikTok. But for this one, I'm going to do YouTube. So I'm just going to say 16 by 9. So we're just going to wait for ChatGPT to generate our image. So as you can see, our image has generated. So this is the full view. But sometimes ChatGPT quality might not be really great depending on what you want to create. So if you can see here, ChatGPT is recommending that we use Open Art. But before we move over to Open Art, let me show you how to generate an image with just your prompts. So if you don't have an image, when you go back to your documentary style 3D image generator here, all you just need to do is to paste in the actual description of what you want to create. So for this one, I'm just going to say I'm robber unlocking a safe. And then if I send it over, You can see my um, ChatGPT has already written down, you know, the, the prompts that I need to generate all my bureaus. So um, all you just need to do is to copy each of these and then you paste it back to ChatGPT and just say scene one or scene two and then it will generate your image. So back here to our first image that we generated, we're going to generate this kind of image in open art. So all you just need to do is to head over to um, the prompt. So I'm just going to copy this first prompt. We're going to use this to generate our image on open art. So when you go to open art, all you just need to do is to um, log in, create an account, and then you see from the options below, you can see image. All you just need to do is to come here, it says prompts, and then you paste in the prompt that you already copied from ChatGPT. So you can see here it says model or character. All you just need to do is to switch and um, from this option, we are going to select on this one. It says Imagine Tree by Google. And um, we'll just go back. Yeah, as you can see, we already have a model character on Imagine Tree. And then here you can select the aspect ratio. So we're just going to do 16 by 9 for YouTube. And um, yeah, so when you go down here, you can select the number of images that you want to create. So as you can see for the free plan, we only have 40 credits. So if you really want to use open ads, then you will necessarily need to upgrade because you cannot create many images if you are not on their pro plan. So for this one, I'm just going to do two images because if you extend this, you can see we need 45 credit and we only have 40 credit here. So I'm just going to do two images here. And then um, I think that's all I need to set. Yeah, so from here, I'm just going to click on create and then we'll wait and see what open ads would create for us. So open ads is done generating our images and then we're just going to click. So as you can see, obviously open ads quality looks very, very good. It's more like HD quality. So this is the second one. 
this is the first one so if you want to save it you can just click on download you can see original version download and to save to your pc it's going to download this so all you just need to do is to come back to ChatGPT where you have prompts for each scene so all you just need to do is to generate images for each scene so you can have different camera angles that when you you know animate them you can have a video that has different camera angles so next up we're going to go to animate our images so in order to animate our image we're going to head over to clingai.com so here in Kling AI, all you just need to do is to add your image so after adding your image the next thing you need to do is to scroll down and then you see here you paste in this particular prompt i'm going to provide a link to this prompt in the description below so after pasting these prompts you just need to click on deep seek so as you can see, DeepSeek is going to rewrite this prompt for you in a better way. So you all you just need to do is to click here. You see use prompts. You can see use prompts. And then you come down here, you select the number of um, minutes you want the video to be. And then you click on generate. So after clicking on generate, you have to wait for it to generate. And this is going to generate a video that actually has sound. So all you just need to do is to animate all the images that you previously created here on Kling AI so you can have different camera angles for your video. After animating all your images and having different camera angles for your video, the next thing you need to do is to head over to 11 Labs and generate a voiceover. So right here in 11 Labs, all you just need to do is to click on Voices and then you select Filter. And then from here, in order to get a good voice, you can just select some of these options. You see this option, it says native story, native and story. You select on high quality and then you click on male. Depending on what you want to do, if it's a male or female, click on male. And then I just click on middle age, depending on what you actually want to do with this. And then you can still select some other options here. But for this one, I just leave it like this. And then from the voices, you select English. So it will give you an American accent. And then after this, you just click on apply filter. And then you can head over to here and then you search on voices. And then you select the voice and, you know, generate your voiceover. So here is the output from the video I created. Under the bright lights, the ring feels like the whole world. Every punch, every step, every pause, it's a contest of willpower as much as strength. The fighter stands faceless, because this could be any of us, stepping into an arena where the crowd sees only the surface, never the weight carried inside. As you can see, that video is looking very cool. So you can go ahead and create yours, ensure you just follow the directions that i give you so you can actually have something good i will provide a link to all the prompts i use for this video in the description below so you can go ahead and get it so this will be the end of the video ensure you like this video share it with anybody that might need it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i'll be sharing more videos on graphic design ai and tech see you in the next one